बड़ा प्यारा शेर है कि चमन में इखलियात रंग बू से बात बनती है हम ही हम हैं तो क्या हम हैं और तुम ही तुम हो तो क्या तुम हो तो एक ऐसी जोड़ी है हमारे हिंदी सिनेमा में उसमें से एक जो हैं वो बिहार की पैदाइश हैं वेस्ट बंगाल में बड़े हुए और दिल्ली में तैयार हुए फिर बॉम्बे आके उन्होंने अपना काम शुरू किया और जो दूसरे हैं वो रेस्ड बॉर्न एवरीथिंग इन मुंबई और इनका ज़बरदस्त यिन और यान का जो कॉम्बिनेशन है वो एक ऐसा कॉम्बिनेशन है इन दोनों के बीच में केमिस्ट्री जो है वो इतनी अच्छी केमिस्ट्री है गोया पति पत्नी के बीच जो केमिस्ट्री होती है कि एक सोच रहा है तो दूसरे को समझ में आ जाता है कि अब करना क्या है और ये जो जोड़ी है वो है नीरज पांडे और शीतल भाटिया की भाई <laughs> मेरी अभी इनसे बात हुई कुछ देर पहले जब आप कहीं बिजी थे तो इन्होंने मुझे बताया और इंटरनेट भी ऐसा कहता है कि 22 साल की दोस्ती है आप लोगों की जी तकरीबन 22 साल हो गए कभी कभी पता नहीं चलता है कभी कभी बहुत जोर से पता चलता है कि बाईस साल हो गए बहुत जोर से कब पता चलता है वेन यू लुक बैक जब आप देखते हैं कि हाँ मतलब क्या जर्नी रही है और जब खास तौर पे जब हम लोग इंटरव्यूज देने बैठते हैं तब तो बहुत जोर से पता चलता है क्या वो कह रहे थे कि मैं कम बैठता हूँ क्योंकि मैं लड़ने लगता हूँ मैंने ये कहा कि मैं नहीं लड़ने लगता हूँ ये कहता है कि मैं लड़ने लगता एक एक पति पत्नी का एक जोक है इसको नहीं खत्म करते हैं नहीं <laughs> वो, वो, मैं आपके जो बीच में ये पार्टनरशिप है उसका सारा जो लब्बो लुबाब है वो उसमें है कि भाई दो घर थे तो दोनों में मियाँ बीवी रहते थे एक मियाँ बीवी के बीच में बहुत अनबन रहती थी दूसरे के बीच में नहीं रहती थी तो उन्होंने उनसे पूछा भाई तुम लोग लड़ते वड़ते नहीं हो क्या बोले बहुत लड़ते हैं बोले यार लेकिन आवाज़ें तो हमेशा हंसने की आती हैं तुम्हारे घर से तो तो बोला हाँ वो बेलन फेंक के मारती है लग जाता है तो वो हंसती है नहीं लगता तो मैं हंसता हूँ तो ये वाली कहानी जो है वो ज्यादा बैठती है मैरिड कपल एनोलॉजी तो मेरे ख्याल से ये हम लोग में से एक हंसता रहता है हमेशा ओके सो हुज द क्रिएटिव पर्सन आई मीन आई नो इट बट आई स्टिल स्टेट फ्रॉम दॉर्स माउथ हुज द आर्ट गाय एंड हुज द मनी गाय so over the years i've found that both of us do both the roles actually mm-hmm. it's not it's, and it's not fair to classify ki matlab main uh, sirf creative dekhta right. hu and sheetal looks after the money he's also extremely creative mm. so it's uh, his prerogative also to look into that mm. side of things mm. so both of us i understand money less he understands much better Hmm. and uh, that's how the partnership works hmm aap bihar ke hain aapko sirf civil service ghumta hai dimag mein i hope utna intelligent hota jitna hi jitna hi ye kehta hai to main yahan nahi hindi aur gujarati mein bade hue hain punjabi hu main by the way sindhi nahi hu lekin jitna ye bolta hai numbers nahi samajhta utna hi zyada samajhta hai netflix pe ek bahut achhi series release hui hai khaki bihar chapter to ab एक तो ये कि बहुत अच्छी सीरीज़ है आप ज़रूर देखें अगर नहीं देखी है तो परफॉर्मेंस वाइज डायरेक्शन वाइज एंड द इंटायर यूनिवर्स इज़ वेरी ऑथेंटिक और दूसरा ये मुझे लगता है कि शायद बिहार चैप्टर है तो और भी कई सारे चैप्टर्स खुलेंगे यूपी पे भी आएंगे दिल्ली पे भी आएंगे राजस्थान पर भी आएंगे शायद महाराष्ट्र पर आएंगे सबसे पहले उसकी बात करते हैं नीरज जी वन आई वॉज वेरी वेरी प्लीज बाय द ऑथेंटिसिटी ऑफ द यूनिवर्स वन ऑन द एडिट कई फिल्म मेकर्स क्या करते हैं आपका प्रोडक्शन है समबड़ी एल्स इज डायरेक्टेड इट एंड यू यू द क्रिएटर बट वो एक एडिट पे जो एक वो इतना बिल्डअप में का यूज होता है कि जो रियलिटी की जो खूबसूरती है वो चली जाती है और जैसे ही रियलिटी जाती है आम आदमी थोड़ा कट सा जाता है उसको लगता है पिक्चर चल रही है असलियत नहीं है ये बहुत कम एडिटिंग टूल्स का इस्तेमाल ना बहुत ज़्यादा मोन्टाज शॉर्ट्स या फास्ट एडिट्स ना बहुत ज़्यादा डायलॉग बाजी ना बहुत ज़्यादा बैकग्राउंड म्यूज़िक ना कोई टिटिलेशन बहुत ही सही तरीके से आपने बिहार को जितना मैं भी समझती हूँ बिहार को दिखाया है आपने और आप खुद भी बिहार के हैं तो ये जो पूरा यूनिवर्स है ये कहानी बताने की ज़रूरत क्यों पड़ी और फिर जब बताया तो फिर कैसे बताया कहानी यूनिक लगी हम लोगों को जब अमित की बुक जब आई हमारे सामने 
उससे पहले मेरी और शीतल की मुलाकात हो चुकी थी अमित से तो इनफैक्ट हम लोगों ने ही सजेस्ट किया कि भैया आप इसको किताब लिखें एक बुक के फॉर्म में एंड आप अज्यूम करें कि हम लोग राइट्स लेके बैठे हैं उस बुक की तो वो जर्नी की शुरुआत थी अमित से मिलने के बाद और उसके बाद उस उनकी किताब पढ़ने के बाद एक फिर भी एक बहुत बड़ा गैप था क्योंकि वो जो काफ़ी चीज़ें हमें जो बता चुके थे वो किताब में नहीं डाला था उन्होंने ओके तो एक तरीके से कहना सही होगा कि जो सीरीज़ है वो किताब और वो सारी चीज़ें जो उन्होंने किताब में नहीं डाली दोनों का जो है वो मिश्रण है बुक को अडेप्ट करने की बात जब आई और वहीं से जो है इस क्रिएटिव प्रोसेस का जो टोन है जो सुर है वो क्रिटिकल बन जाता है तो वो आपको राइटिंग से आपको जो है उसको इनकॉपरेट करना होता है तो उमा शंकर वॉज द राइटर ऑन दिस उमा शंकर भव जो डायरेक्टर हैं और हम लोग सब मिल के वी स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन इट एंड द ब्रॉड डीएनए जो हम कहते हैं स्पाइंग जो है शो का दैट वॉज डिसाइडेड बिटवीन दैट पीरियड राइटिंग द शो तो अमूमन समझा जाता है कि मतलब पेसिंग जो है इट्स एडिट टूल एडिट पे बैठकर आप पेस करते हैं बट आप वो जो है पेसिंग जो है वो राइटिंग से शुरू yeah. शुरू होती है अगर आपने वहाँ से शुरू किया तो एग्जीक्यूशन भी उस हिसाब से होता है और फिर एडिट बिकम्स अ गुड प्लेस टू असेंबल एवरीथिंग टू एंड दैट वाज द प्रोसेस यू बीइंग प्रोड्यूसर एंड डायरेक्टर ऑफ अ लीडिंग प्रोडक्शन हाउस हाउ मच डज एन एक्टर्स फॉलोइंग मैटर टू यू नॉट ऑल सो वी वी जस्ट लुक एट द टैलेंट एंड वेदर ही he or she is right for the role mm. that is more important uh, for us rather than you know how established an actor is and you know what the region and this medium allows you to do that mm. so uh, ott as a platform lets you experiment mm. and uh, you know get out with the best talent available for that job mm -hmm. so that's the flexibility you get with ott but what about the platforms that you are pitching your product to what do they we've been very they lucky say? they've trusted us with our judgment and they've you know believed in us and they've let us do what we believe in hmm. and in the new scheme of things uh, there are a lot of tools that the filmmakers are doing away with one of them is an item number the other is over dramatization of uh, storylines hmm. or characters which was a must 10 years ago just hmm. must and now people seem to like more of simplistic things but very powerfully written has the time come for a creative person who believes in simplicity creative person these times are always there i think i have uh, i've never believed that uh, uh, something very different has been done it's cyclic in nature hmm. there were uh, very interesting films made in the 60s also Mm. which broke the uh, so called mainstream mindset mm. 70s also beat rajkapoor sahab or beat later on you had uh, shekhar kapoor doing a masoom mm. in the 80s mm. so it's all cyclic i believe that uh, simple stories rishikesh rishida for that matter was doing stuff basu chatterjee was doing stuff that you know uh, was mm. completely away from the norm mm. of that time what uh, Say, was, chupke, chupke so both of them were right. existing. I mean, right. Salim Javed films were also existing, mm. and they were coexisting with what uh, Rishida Gulzar Sahab were doing mm. and all that. So it is all there. It mm. just keeps changing its shape and form in some mm. way or the other. And when we come in front of it, we feel that it's very different. 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 It's very एंड आइटम नंबर तो छोड़ तो गाने ही नहीं थे गाने ही नहीं थे एंड इट वॉज नो हिरोट वॉज अन्सॉम्बल कास्ट एंड टॉप लाइन बाई टू वेरी वेरी गुड एक्टर्स बट अगेन नॉट योर टिपिकल मेन स्ट्रीम क्वालिफाइड टैलेंट सो टू स्पीक बट दे टॉप लाइन इन दिस फिल्म एंड उससे आपको बहुत भरोसा मिलता है जब आप ऐसा कुछ करते हैं अपनी जर्नी के शुरुआत में और वो चीज़ जो है वो वो प्रोडक्ट जो है वो फिल्म जो है एक ऑडियंस को hmm. पसंद आती है तो इट एम्पावर्स यू टू टेक बिगर रिस्क इन दैट डायरेक्शन एंड देन टू कीप वर्किंग इन अ सर्टन पेस सो दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट्स हैपन टू आर जर्नी एंड एंड व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट स्टोरीज 
where do you get good stories from? I mean, for the longest time, the industry, the in, insiders in the industry, and even the viewers have been very critical of the fact that writers, writers have been very critical of the fact that they were not given their due. Mm. People also thought, "Hey, kahaniyon mein dam nahi hai yaar." Wo thik hai, sab dekhne mein bahut acha lag raha hai, but kahani kahan hai? The entire 90s and 2000s were about that. People were complaining about content, gravitas in the storyline. Uh, now, thankfully, in the last five to six years, we hear of big production houses or big companies investing in these programs which develop writing skills, which invest on writers. Star did something like that. Your process of rejecting a story is like you reject more and you choose less. That's the key. Uh, whenever we are looking out, stories, good stories are all around us. That's our belief. Okay. Mm. That uh, I'm sure that if I would sit with you for Two hours, three hours, you'll end up because every person has got a story to tell. Can we bet him? Yeah, absolutely. Bet. And. Bara shareo mera you, bahut sari kahaniyan sunaungi. Absolutely, absolutely. So, आप imagine करें अगर आपके पास इतनी कहानियाँ हैं, तो it's just a matter of meeting with the right people and identifying that one particular story that would make for a good cinematic experience or a good, you know, uh, series experience. तो कहानियाँ मुश्किल नहीं हैं. Yeah, to write them, it becomes like that is a technique that's yeah. a technique that's a technique so uh, one of our favorite lines when we are talking about the the world of writing is that uh, never heard a bad idea and seldom read a good script never heard, heard a, a bad, bad idea, idea and seldom read a good read script, script. Oh. and uh, that's that's something that we we keep talking about yeah. believing and the, yeah the courage to reject something mm. uh, even after you have spent hours and months over that particular thing and acknowledging that yes it is not shaped up the way mm. uh, that you would want to and it's not the right thing to share with the wider audience mm. sometimes it's very difficult to pull the plug on something that you invested a lot of money and time and have you done that as a rule all Many the time. times really yeah losing a lot of money also yeah. yeah i mean it's it's a part of that process it's a part of that process wow i think manchu dhulia once said to me hum yahan paise banane nahi aaye hain itihas rachne aaye hain so i love the way i love it when creative people talk like that it's not only the money the time that you spend on it so yeah. that's more important i mean uh, the effort that you put in it and then you let it go it's difficult it's not easy but uh, so if money is not the um, currency in which you will uh, judge your success the last 10 years then what is the what is that uh, thing that you are measuring your success in is it the awards what is it the friday film works actually thinks ki ye meri punji hai the love that we get from our audiences i think the interview stop karte nahi hai zara but audiences se pata to chal jata hai na kya whether they like what we made for them mm. and uh, if it's received nicely that's enough for us mm. how was your childhood like and why why are you so persistent about doing good work in cinema i want to know from both of you i i was a backbencher you were a backbencher yeah, back 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 born and raised in, in bombay. bombay very bad student hmm. punjabi family in bombay yeah both average student tha so that's about it so i really uh, started actually enjoying once i got into this industry what was what was your childhood like very colorful very very uh, uh, eventful uh, i was born brought up in calcutta oh. and uh, so uh, a bihari family in calcutta uh, 70s 80s 70s intellectual close to academics always no i was more, more of a sports person I, i flunked my ninth so i won't call myself a, he is an average student i was a below That's average student, student. Okay. So so he flunked ninth i flunked 10th so okay <laughs> <laughs> so that bad but yeah i had a very uh, and i i my father inculcated that interest in me mm. to read mm. he he always used to uh, suggest that you should read irrespective of what it is mm. but just develop the habit of reading and that's uh, been the most important thing in my life i mean and what I was your father's profession was he to civil he service he was working with uh, bosch uh, the german company mm. in park street yeah Oh that's nice. It was fun. Like yeah. I said, I mean it's it's great fun to grow up in those times where there was no social nothing and uh, the power of observation was the most critical thing for you if you were to go into creative uh, fields. So 
imagination, observation, these were the keywords that, you know, were, were important and uh, instrumental in shaping up the way one wanted to think and write and read. Mm. Wonderful. Your films are generally about the middle class, generally about bureaucracy. I can see a lot of bureaucracy. I can see a lot of government officers. We can see a lot of simple lifestyle, obesity, city. It's not mostly about money. Hmm. It's mostly about life. It's the Rose Maraki Zindagi hai. Is that a thought behind you? It's about people. Maximum people uh, can. I, I would to? suggest that, I mean, it's about people. So, uh, if it's about MS, it's about MS, the guy. Hmm. Okay, as to what was his mindset, how did his mind work, hmm. uh, what made him the, the man that he is today. Hmm. Uh, if I look at uh, Himmat Singh also from Special Ops, it's all about you know, how his uh, mind used to work mm. or does work for that matter. Mm. So it's about people more than, uh, you know, anything else. It's about people. What are the things that you want to do and it still not come to you? Nothing. I'm pretty much, yeah, I mean, doing what, what one needs to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What excites you? What excites you in a script? It, it will speak to you. I, I won't be able to define what's a good right, script. Right, right. But a script generally speaks for itself that yes, this is wanting to get made hmm. or this needs to get made ASAP. So the film was shot entirely in Bihar? Is the, that series. the series. The uh, series? Sorry. The yeah, it was uh, uh, it let Sheetal run in yeah, through the production. Shot but. in Ranchi. 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 So Jharkhand basically, yeah. Dalton Ganj and you know, uh, in and around Ranchi, hmm. so, which was a portion of Bihar at one point, not anymore, but uh, yeah. So that's where we shot. We shot for almost uh, 50 days over there. Mm. And then a uh, couple of interiors and everything else we shot over here. Mm. Uh, in and around we shot Bombay. in Patna also. We shot in Patna. You would have yeah, definitely. I have yeah. seen shots from Patna. Yeah, we a couple we of shot them. in Patna. Mm. And you visit your sets? We, yeah. You do? Yeah. You also yeah. visit your sets? No. Every film set? If there is if if there's an, another director on the set, then, you then don't. I don't. I, I stay away because. It's a big distraction and a pressure point for the other director. You think that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you uh, follow that when you are directing? You don't like want the producer to. No, it's not. A, I, I mean, it's Sheetal. So Sheetal has oh, always I'm been there, around I'm there. there. So, so, but yeah, I mean, uh, I can understand that if there's a new director on set, mm. uh, like uh, when Bhav is directing it, it, it doesn't make sense to. You've already designated that particular responsibility, to right? So. There's no point. And he likes to let them, you know, do their jobs their job. freely rather than getting pressure. You the directors who have directed your films are sometimes uh, one of them was your editor, Shri. Yeah. 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 He yeah. was your editor yeah. in the same yes. production house, right? Yeah. And the other was his, an AD to you. Yeah. Tinu for uh, on, Rustam. On, yeah. on Chabbis, he was the AD. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. And is there any memory that will always stay with you with regards to uh, Haki? We're shooting in a village huh. and uh, there were almost 500 people, you know, hmm. lined up watching the shoot. And then the cameras turned and they were all coming in frames. So we just asked them to move and all of those 500 people, very in a disciplined manner, moved to the other side and hmm. let us shoot very peacefully. So that so was that an amazing experience, yeah. yeah. That's, that's quite not the Bihar that we know, though. Yeah, but you yeah, know? so. so yeah. Interesting. But lovely people. Wherever we went, we, we got so much love, warmth and... Uh, cooperation from them yeah. uh, and they, they somehow sense that uh, I mean we will be needing a lot of that over a period <laughs> of <a> days. <laughs> Lovely, I loved Khaki, the Bihar chapter Thank and I'm so waiting much. for the UP chapter and the Rajasthan <laughs> chapter and Maharashtra chapter. Thank you. Is that on your mind? Well, that's the vision yes. of the show. I mean, we wanted to take it to different states and mm. tell the story of the police in that particular state. So, mm. uh, early days but hopefully once uh, the whole hoopla around this sort of sorts itself out, then hmm. we make a call on it. Is there any reason why you find the world of police and cops very interesting? Not just that. Like I said, it's people essentially. I mean, uh, it, they could be belonging to anything, be it a sports field or a, I mean, the second film that we did was Special Chabbis. It was about a con, con man. man. Hmm. And uh, I mean, Brilliant mind. If he goes to NASA, he would become a scientist. Ben jata tha. But he took to this route. He took the route of you know yeah. conning people. And then pulled off this heist which is unsolved till date. So, 
it's all about people like yeah. I, I said earlier they could be belonging to any field yeah. whatsoever it doesn't matter so great thank you so thank much you. thank you very much thank you neeraj ji thank you sheetal ji aap achhi achhi filmein banate rahe achhi achhi series banate rahe and i'm looking forward to up chapter lucknow mera shehar or i'm looking forward to maharashtra chapter kahani aap denge kya kahani aap thank you so much thank you thank you